Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can import a large SQL database on your PHP MyAdmin which is running on your WAMP server. So let me show you what problems you may encounter while importing and then I will show you the solution how you can import a large database. So for example, I have a database which is codebind.com SQL for example and it's around uh, 250 megabytes and I want to import this database in uh, this PHP MyAdmin MySQL database using uh, this web server. So one option I can see here is this import option so I can just uh, uh, select my, my MySQL database and then I can uh, just go to this import tab and I can select this uh, SQL database which is this one select it and then when I click go here it's going to uh, work on it and it says you probably tried to upload a file that is too large please refer to the documentation now some people may suggest you that you need to change the PHP INI file and you need to change the limits uh, of MySQL database in PHP INI file which is this one but I will uh, show you the more easier way of doing it so what you need to do is you need to go to once again WAMP uh, server icon here and in here go to uh, MySQL and in MySQL you need to uh, select MySQL console so we are going to open MySQL console and in here my password is by default uh, no password so I will just press enter and in here you need to give the name of your database which you uh, want to use for example I want to use uh, a database called codebind which is this one you can see here so I will just say use codebind and then press enter so it will switch this uh, database to the codebind so codebind is my current database in which I am working right so this is for switching the database now to import your database you just need to write source and the source of your uh, SQL file so you can just go here and copy uh, the path from here or you can directly type your path here so source and then give the path here and keep in mind that instead of using these uh, backslashes here you need to use these uh, forward slashes okay so just give these forward slashes something like this and at the last the name of your database file in my case it's codebind.sql so just write codebind.sql okay so source and the path to your database and the uh, database uh, name right and press enter and now it will uh, you know start the process of importing the database into your uh, MySQL database and when it's finished then your uh, data will be imported in your database so let this process to complete and then once again check your database again so now the process is complete you can see uh, every uh, you know document or data is uh, imported and then you can just go to your database and then see uh, the data which is imported here so in this way you can import a large data in your uh, php my admin in your web server i hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now